Hi guys, this is Victor and welcome to my DIY time channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change CVT transmission fluid in your car. But before we begin, I just wanted to give thanks to a company called New Air for sponsoring this video. As you may have noticed, I live in Florida and we have three months out of the year of really intense heat and the rest of the year is all summer. So working outside or in the garage could be really difficult sometimes. Thankfully, I've got this really nice fan from New Air that makes my life so much easier. It is very well built, has pretty strong fan motor, metal fan blades, three fan speeds, and it's even IPX4 water resistant to handle harsh Florida weather and humidity. I use this fan when working on my cars or when jamming on my drums in the garage. So if you need something to keep you cool during the hot summer days, definitely check out this fan from New Air. It's one of the best products you can find on the market right now. It will most certainly blow your way and who knows, maybe you'll even become a big fan. All the links and the discount codes for this product will be in the description area below this video. In this video, we're going to change CVT transmission fluid in my car. And keep in mind, this is not the same as CVT transmission fluid flush. CVT transmission fluid flush is a little more difficult to do. It usually requires a lot more CVT transmission fluid and specialized equipment. And it's going to cost you a lot more if you take your car to someone else to do that for you. During the flush process, close to 100% of old CVT fluid is removed from the transmission. In this case, we're simply going to drain the old CVT fluid from the drain pan on the bottom of the transmission and then refill it with the same exact amount of brand new CVT fluid. During the CVT fluid change, only up to 85% of old CVT fluid is drained from the transmission. However, it doesn't require any special equipment and you can easily do it yourself. It requires the least amount of new CVT fluid and you can also do it a few times if your fluid still looks dark after the first time. For this Ultima, it's recommended to change CVT fluid every 60,000 miles or every 48 months under normal driving conditions. If you have a different car, make sure to check your service and repair manual for proper change intervals. If you're not sure if it's time for you to change your CVT transmission fluid, visit my webpage at diy-time.com slash CVT fluid for more information, where I talk more in depth about inspecting your CVT transmission fluid. To know how much fluid you need to buy, first check what's the full CVT transmission fluid capacity in your car. Then, based on that, you can buy anywhere from 85 to 100% of that capacity. It's always good to buy a little more just to be safe. Also, if you plan to change the fluid a couple times to get as much of old fluid out as possible, you'll need to buy double or triple of that amount. And if you are planning to change it a couple times, you can buy cheaper aftermarket CVT fluid to do it first time and then use genuine high quality Nissan CVT fluid second time around. Now let's go over all of the tools and parts required for the CVT fluid change. You will need proper CVT fluid for your car, a brand new drain plug gasket, a small funnel that can fit into the fill pipe of your transmission, drain pan, wrench and socket set, car ramps, and torque wrench. If you need help finding any of those parts or tools, feel free to check out the links in the description area below this video. Before we start draining old CVT fluid, first let's check the CVT fluid level to make sure it's within specified range. This is a very important step because if the fluid level is too high or too low, there might be underlying cause for this, such as CVT fluid leak or coolant getting into your CVT transmission. And if so, you may want to check and fix those problems first before spending any time and money changing your CVT fluid. Also, if the CVT fluid level is good, then we can simply measure how much fluid came out of the transmission and then we can pour in the same exact amount to maintain that proper level. CVT fluid level should be checked when the fluid is warmed up to anywhere between 122 to 176 Fahrenheit. To reach that temperature, you can simply drive your car for about 10 minutes. Next, park your car on a flat leveled surface. Engage the parking brake and let the engine idle. After that, depress the brake pedal and then move the shifter through the entire shifting range, letting each gear to fully engage and then place the shifter back into parking or neutral position.
With the parking brake still fully engaged, open the hood and then take out the dipstick for the CVT fluid. You'll need to push on the locking tab to be able to do that. Use paper towel and wipe fluid off of the dipstick. Rotate the dipstick 180 degrees to avoid it engaging with the release tab and then insert it into the fluid checking pipe. Make sure that the dipstick is seated all the way in, then pull it out and then make sure that the fluid level is within specified range. In my case the fluid level looks normal, so let's go ahead and take a look at the color of the old CVT fluid and then compare it to the brand new CVT fluid. So here's how the old fluid looks like. It's dark brown in color, which is a clear sign it's definitely time to change it. And to give you an idea, let's compare it to the same exact factory brand new CVT fluid. And that one is almost completely clear with just a little bit of green shade to it. Be sure to use the proper CVT fluid for your transmission. You can find that information in the owner's manual or sometimes you can find it on the dipstick itself. In my case it's Nissan NS2 CVT transmission fluid. Using incompatible transmission fluid can cause transmission damage, performance issues or deteriorated longevity. Warm up the CVT fluid to its normal operating temperature by driving your car for about 10 minutes. Use car ramps to get better access to the bottom of CVT transmission. Remove the 19 mm drain plug. Don't get it confused with the engine oil drain plug, because they look very similar. Use a drain pan to catch the old CVT fluid and drain as much of it as possible. You can also use a clean cup and collect a sample of old fluid and check its condition and contamination. Try to collect the very first fluid that comes out, because heavier particles tend to sink to the bottom of the drain pan. Make sure that the drain pan you are using is empty, because a little later we will need to measure the exact amount of fluid that came out of the transmission. I like using clear cup because you can compare the color of your old CVT fluid with the fresh brand new one. As you can see here, this one is definitely in need of replacement. You can also run old CVT fluid through the coffee paper filter to see if there's any contaminants. I found some small black particles in my old fluid, but it was definitely not something to worry about. While we're waiting for the fluid to drain, we can replace the old drain plug gasket. After old fluid stops flowing, install the drain plug with the new gasket and torque it down to 34 Newton meters. Next, you can use old empty bottles to measure the amount of fluid that you collected. In my case, I drained roughly 6 quarts of fluid. Now let's go ahead and refill the transmission with the same exact amount. And then we're gonna check the fluid level to make sure it looks good. Use clean narrow funnel that can fit into the charging pipe. Shake well new CVT fluid bottles before using them. Refill the same amount of compatible CVT fluid from the charging pipe. Check and verify the cold CVT fluid level before starting the car. Add or remove fluid if necessary. The fluid level can be slightly higher than before because some of the spaces inside the transmissions haven't been filled yet. The level will go down after you drive the car, just make sure it's not too low before you start driving. Before you drive the car, start the engine and then slowly go through the entire shifting range a few times, allowing each gear to fully engage. Next, drive your car for about 10 minutes to warm up the fluid to its normal operating temperature. Check hot CVT fluid level. 
add or drain fluid if necessary. Check CVT fluid condition and if it's still too dark or contaminated, you can repeat the change process one more time. Alright guys, this is pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful and I inspired you to do it yourself. And if so, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel to see more useful videos like this. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.